What's up guys? So the skate park's full of kids because it's fall break. So we're gonna go find some street spots. Cause we're adults here. We skate adult spots. This is literally a preschool. So I found the first spot. Don't expect too much from this video cause these are some really crusty spots. So I had actually forgotten what Razor Tail looks like and feels like after skating skate parks for so long, but after the first street spot, I definitely have some Razor Tail now. If you ever really need a skate spot, these things always make the best skate spots. This bench would be fun if it was just out in the middle of this parking lot because it's kind of got a curve to it. It's just like Jaws house where he practices his gaps. Always wanted to skate that spot right there but you would never get away with it. There's nowhere to go when you get down to the bottom and imagine trying to wax that it's so sticky. So that first spot was rough. I'm gonna have to warm up at the skate park. What made me think that I could actually go a day without skating at the skate park? I brought my broom. If you wanna stay young, try skateboarding because it really does keep you young. I mean, most of the people in my videos are in their 20s or 30s. This kid passed the skate park this morning with his friends. He's like, oh, that guy's in his 40s. But not only does skateboarding keep you young, it keeps you immature too, which can be really fun. I don't know why I dress like a homeless person today. I just, this is what I had left that wasn't dirty. So skateboarders almost have a pass to be more immature. Like you could see a group of grown 30 year old men playing in front of a middle school. You might get freaked out. You might call the police, but if those guys say, oh, it's okay, I got a skateboard, then you're like, oh, that's what they're doing. Of course they're doing immature things and playing around and acting stupid. They're skateboarders. It's a free pass to act like a kid as an adult. What kind of bird did this come out of? It's like the size of my hand. The tree's not even above this. This is a pro tip here. If you wear your shoes long enough that you get a hole right in the front of them, they let this nice breeze in so you feel air and your feet don't get hot. Actually, it feels really good to have a hole right there in the front of the shoe. I think that's just from doing knee slides on the vert ramp in Louisville. So I'm really not that stupid. I got a 28 on the ACT, which is like 77% if you actually do the math, but it's like better than 88% of the population. Uh, 36 and math and science and then way worse in everything else and I still look pretty stupid with this beard and like big baggy camo pants I don't know why camo pants make me look less intelligent but they also make people scared of me just like this beard it intimidates men and men are afraid of me now and they won't kick me out of spots so I guess not getting kicked out of spots is a balance of looking like you're intelligent, looking like you're supposed to be there, and looking like you're intimidating and people don't want to actually go up to you because you might get mad and yell at them. I mean, how old is Tony Hawk? I mean, look how good he looks for his age. He looks like a young guy. I tend to not care about how I look or how people perceive me, but sometimes it really makes a difference. Like it can get you kicked out of spots or maybe someone will allow you to skate somewhere because of the way you look. I have a Calvin Klein suit. I could skate in that every day, but it's dry clean only. So it might get expensive. And the way you look can make you look smarter or stupid. And when people first meet you, their impressions are made that first time. And it's hard to change those first impressions. So the things you wear can greatly affect how people perceive you. Also skateboarding can make people think you're stupid sometimes. It's done it for me. Maybe I should write a book. It can't be that hard. It's like a really long tweet, especially a cookbook like this. It wouldn't take that long. All I'd have to do is go to Sunday morning church, talk to a bunch of old ladies, and it might take me an afternoon to write this book. And then I can tell people I'm an author instead of just a skateboarder. So the longer my beard gets down here, the more it looks like it curves in. Like, you know how guys who chew dip and stuff and they've lost like all their teeth and like their gums are hanging out and their chins go in like this. It kind of makes me look like that when I get a, a longer beard. Skating here is like skating on gravel. I was flinging rocks like 10 feet the whole time. I was afraid I was hitting my car and my camera. So sometimes you find the best skate spots in the trash. So over here in the trash, we've got a bright yellow hoodie 
What is this? It almost looks like a bone. We've got some angel wings made of ceramic. One, one video I actually made was skating a table like this the whole time. I think it was called, I have social anxiety, so I'm skating a table. And there's the head of the angel. Angel's head, oh. So this spot has a lot of potential. It's a pretty steep bank. You could just do a kickflip or something into it. Uh, but then down here, it's just dirt, like really thick dirt. So here's one of those things that you always wanna skate when you see it. So they slide really good. The only problem is they're really soft, so it's hard to pop out. I actually skimboarded here before, and I board slid these on a skimboard. Uh, I had this girlfriend who, right after I had started dating her, she had an accident and she had to like relearn to walk and relearn to, so I actually taught her to surf and skateboard after this accident. That's the saddest swing set of all time. So years ago, I bought this red cherry Gibson guitar, kind of like Chuck Berry played. And it came in two boxes, an outer box and an inner box. So I had the outer box on my head. It went to about here. And I had this girl with me. She had the inner box on her head. And she decided to go down this slide and flew out of this slide and landed on her head. And I thought that she was dead. She wasn't moving at first. And I thought she was paralyzed or dead, but it turns out she was okay. That was the same girl from the other story. Sadly, later she had a spinal cord injury. We found out that her vertebrae were actually fused together and it made it easier for her to have a spinal cord injury. So she was really lucky to have not had the spinal cord injury right there. So she was very daring. Now I'm going to try to pop off of this thing. Oh man, that's kind of long at the bottom. We're gonna try to skate this bike rack, but there's a cop across the street, so it might not be a long session. Also, look at this. That might be fun. Maybe like a blunt on that thing. So we've got a pretty nice spot here, but this is pretty busy right now. This is more of a spot you'd wanna skate at night, but you got a painted curb, and then you've got another curb, and then a drop off, kinda of like a little ramp here. And let's see what's around back. Definitely a pretty good spot. Oh, you got a little, little gap there. All right, see those ledges there below that giant semi-truck? There's little gaps there. You could do a manual and hop these little gaps. That definitely could be a spot for sure. That used to be a blockbuster sign. There used to be a huge blockbuster sign over here. They've got these here too. And these are actually much better than the ones I was skating. Like these, you can actually get your board all the way over without touching the mulch. What is this? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, scroll through my channel. I got a bunch of tutorials and reviews on skateboard decks and stuff like that. If you're interested in skateboarding, hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks for watching.